was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. For December and has a shot at posting the biggest all-time opening weekend record of all time. So Star Wars hit North American theaters with a vengeance last night, earning $57 million with shows starting at 7 p.m. and running through and past midnight. That's a new record beating Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, which earned $43.5 million, a record that stood for many, many years. This portends a really big opening day for the film. The records it's shooting for would be a first day, opening day record, surpassing the 91 million of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. We'll have to see if it can achieve that kind of number. And then for the weekend, the record it's looking at is trying to beat Jurassic World, which six months ago earned $208.8 million at the North American box office. We don't have enough guns. If we do this, we do this my way. We got eyes on target. Light it up! Well, 2015 has been an amazing year at the box office uh, with Jurassic World, Furious 7, Fifty Shades of Grey, Straight Outta Compton. I mean, I could name off, you know, Minions. There's so many movies that have done really well. By the end of this weekend, though, Star Wars will probably be in the top 10 earners in North America for the box office year of 2015. And by the end of the year, it could be in the top three. So it's going to earn a lot of money between now and the end of the year. But there's other movies out there as well. And hopefully all these films will do well and get us to a record of $11 billion in North America for the first time ever and pushing in on $40 billion worldwide for the first time ever in 2015. It's already amassed quite a, a large amount of money in terms of that international box office already. And as we head into the weekend, depending on how well we do in North America, the international component could be a larger percentage of that worldwide gross. So if Star Wars does, I don't know, be, you know, 180 to 250 million, this huge spread that everyone's speculating about, the numbers internationally could be much bigger and put it over that half billion dollar mark for its opening weekend worldwide. The dark side. A Jedi. It's calling to you.